Hello, welcome everyone, welcome to Juan Golf Class. I will play the Monday qualifying round on uh, Masters Division this time. Antonia Count is back again on Masters. And uh, let's see if we can make uh, a good qualifying round. I, I will try to uh, explain all the adjustments during this uh, round and I will upload later this recorded video. So let's play hole number one. Uh, I will play this one uh, with the sniper. Let's see if we can get the distance with our driver shot because we will have a uh, headwind for both our driver and our uh, boot shots. And uh, I think I will, can play this one with the Kingmaker ball. This is our bracket, minus 10 is qualified, minus 13 is the uh, top score. The first uh, matchmaking always takes so long and uh, I will try to qualify so I will not for be forfeited at least for the first six holes so it will take some time to get opened. So a wind of uh, 12 is a common wind on uh, Masters with a Keymaker ball. I will use a very similar setup with about 6 bars of top spin. Probably he will hit the raft, and uh, this is what we want to avoid because if we hit the raft, we will have a tough time for our second shot. So I will apply about 30% extra, 12.3, about 13 rings. Five, twelve, thirteen. Maybe we need more girl to make this shot, but let's see. Oh, pretty good. Sit. So, pretty good shot, uh, even longer than expected. And as you can see, it's important. Uh, to be not using too much curl. So we have some uh, headwind, so I will apply, even being an uphill shot, about 10% extra for our uh, sniper.
the opponent will need to overpower a lot, but good not to be using any backspin for this shot. <clears throat> so 10.9 maximum distance is 12.3 so more or less that maybe a little less About 12 for me. Ah, not good. Anyway, uh, pretty good speed, pretty good speed, and uh, probably using about six bars of top spin is the right adjustment for our driver shot. Be careful not be using too much curl. I would say that only about 25% more or less depending on the amount of overpower But uh, enough to make the eagle. Uh, let's play this shootout hole. <clears throat> And uh, the wind is very, very similar uh, to what we will have uh, in the regular hole. That's the main reason to play this one. Have more tailwind probably. This is super laggy. Anyway, good shot, but what a big lag. Um, mm, I need to close uh, some apps as well. And I will also delete uh, some replays and restart the app. Sorry, guys.
So let's see if uh, we can be away from that black. And let's go for hole number uh, two. We will have a tough win on this one. Um, I think this is a pretty similar uh, win compared to the last uh, tournament. So what I will do is uh, play this one with a power five ball. Uh, Bandera ball is pretty, pretty uh, okay for uh, laying up. And that's right. So let's go for it. I will adjust for 20% uh, extra, uh, but as you can see, we will uh, probably be close to a medium distance, more or less. Um, Since we have had been probably an over adjustment of about 20% uh, is more accurate. That's right. So probably for a wind of about 8.4, we can adjust for 7.4 since we will be adjusting for about medium distance. So let's see. Let's see if we can do it better, do it good. And let's play hole number two. Uh, the important thing about this shot is trying to get in the qualifying round the right distance, the right amount of top spin uh, with our driver in order to have um, a short time close to minimum distance to have an easy adjustment for our second shot. Oh, it's taking a long time. So, 12.3 for uh, wind resistance 3. Interesting shot. Uh, looks like going for it. Probably trying a sand bump and be out of the uh, bunker with the apoc level seven. Uh, but for this shot, the upper adjustment is huge. So 8.4, probably an adjustment of about 7.7 .7 or so uh, can be good. I will use one bar of top spin, full side spin left. And about seven rings, eight rings. Five, eight, perfect shot. Ah, uh, uh, probably, mm, probably too long, but I don't know, really. Yeah, probably we <laughs> we over adjustment because 
Uh, we are using a power one ball. So we are much, much longer than minimum distance. I would say close to medium. And about four rings. Probably. No. Oh, pretty bad adjustment, guys. What happened there? Nice on. Yeah, uh, we were much, much closer to minimum distance. That's the reason why. So, um, we need to aim a little different. Uh, we probably need to use more uh, curl to the left. Yes. And a little more of top spin, probably 1.5 at least, to be closer to the pin. The main thing is that uh, our analysis of uh, medium or minimum distance was, was totally wrong. We over adjusted a lot. And no doubt possible with that. We didn't have the right numbers because we were not minimum distance. So let's uh, forfeit this one. And let's go for uh, hole number three. Hole number three, we will have a side ring from the right to the left side combined with a little of uh, tailwind and um, we will be playing this one uh, at about 20% of uh, extra adjustment because it's a downhill shot but uh, we will probably be uh, for instance if we have a win of 10 we will probably be playing this one uh, I would say uh, close to minimum distance so um, I think we can adjust one by one and uh, let's see uh, if we can make a good shot. We will also be playing the sniper. So, uh, I think the ball is okay, if we can find it. And 8.4. This is 5. This is about 8.4. Perfect shot. Oh, really, really close shot, guys. Woohoo! Good shot, good shot with the Bandera ball. I don't know if just in his life or this is a replay. But uh, pretty, pretty happy with the adjustment, to be honest. We probably need less offset uh, 
with this wind but happy with the adjustment So it looks like uh, probably the most easy uh, to hold out uh, part free hole on masters, I would say. Probably. Let's see the wind uh, we have on this one. Anyway, we can play this one uh, just by our feeling. Uh, so 20%, I would say 25% extra, uh, a wind of 7.3. We will play this one uh, about close to maximum distance. I would say five, six, I would say that could be okay. Some crew right. Probably a little hot. Sit. Yeah, <laughs> super hot. Oh, that's right. Let's go for another one. Pretty very short. Don't know if this is a replay. And uh, let's go for hole number four. Uh, probably uh, this is the uh, risk reward hole on this tournament. Uh, we will have tailwind, uh, but it's a pretty pretty short par four, so uh, lots of water, and we really need uh, to be away from the water hazard. So let's give it a try. Uh, I will probably try with a blue marble if uh, we have a good wind of about I would say 14, 15, 14 would would be okay. This is wind resistance four, and. Let's see. If the wind is really, really poor, I will uh, probably go with the snow globe. But let's see.
So uh, I would say 14 could be okay. Uh, just a little low, but let's give it a try. No. <laughs> uh, what happened there? Uh, we get the bunker uh, with the low wind. So we need to adjust more rings here. We need to adjust for more rings. Landscape mode for Yasim? No. No landscape. Probably no landscape needed, but I don't know. Oh. So a speed fire power four. A wind of fifteen point two. About five rings could be okay. <laughs> really close shot, really, really close. So uh, this shot really, really needs more <laughs> practice and uh, better adjustments. Uh, but the good thing uh, this tournament is that we will be playing two accounts on Masters Division. So let's go for the next hole. Of course, we can play the next hole in, in a very conservative way. And I think I would say that is an eagle hole. Uh, but we will try... Uh, let's see if we can use uh, one of our snow globe balls, depending on the wind. I would say... Uh, if the wind, uh, if the wind is too high, I will use a berserker ball, and let's see.
it will be a risky shot, so we can get an, an albatross or we can get a birdie. But let's give it a try. This Martin. Ten point two uh, looks uh, looks like a good wind. I I would say. Very important to use the right amount of uh, top spin on this one uh, because of the hair. tailwind. Let's see the wind. Wow, this wind is too much. So uh, I will use a circle ball. Be very, very uh, close to the oh no, Jesus, yeah, out of bounds. Uh, our finger. <laughs> Let's see if Martin can make the birdie. <laughs> there you go, sorry. Uh, looks like we are going to lose one shot here. Jesus. Nice shot. Let's give it a try. 13.8. Now this time we go uh, for a snow globe ball. Too much to the left, too much to the left. But if we can get a good bounce there with a wind of about, uh, I would say, 16, we can be very, very long. Maximum distance. I would say we don't need any top spin. Okay, we get the birdie here. 
So if we qualify, and I need to qualify because, because I don't have many, many time this week, um, we will have a bad score. So let's go hole number uh, six. So for the next hole, uh, we need a side spin three ball. Uh, not sure about what ball uh, I can use. So Bandera ball is wind resistance five, but side spin two only. Bajager is wind resistance four, side spin three could be an option. Oceania ball is wind resistance five, side spin three. Not sure about being able to reach. And we have also movie ball with resistance for power two. Uh, let's give it a try with the Oceania ball. I'm not sure about being able uh, to play this one. Um, if we are not able to reach, I will switch uh, to a um, movie ball. So quarterback, movie ball, sorry, Oceania ball. And I will play this one with the ball resistance uh, sorry, power, no power ball this time. Let's switch to the quarterback. Twenty percent extra. And that's it. Probably we can even need more uh, more distance, but I don't know, more adjustment. So let's see the wind. 8.4 looks like about nine rings. No, we can do it with this one. So let's switch to a movie ball. It's 10.2. It's about 12 rings. in the hole. Oh, pretty, pretty nice shot. I'm really happy with this shot. Um, so looks, looks very spot on. Um, for our movie ball, power to 20% extra, 3.5 backspin and full side spin right we can even be in, uh, a little more to the right but we have some risk uh, with the bunker so we can be more to the right with no curve or in our position with a little more of curve
And I think the Pantera ball can be also the ball for the next hole. Oh, oh. Nice shot. We will have a different wind on the regular hole, uh, but we are just in, in a very similar wind with about one extra ring. It's pretty down his shot when playing to the middle. Nice shot, I don't know if this is a replay, but wow. <laughs> wow. If this is a replay, it's too hard. Okay, <clears throat> let's play next hole. Two ways to play this one. We can play this one with the power ball uh, to the left side, depending on the wind. Maybe a lotter wind. Uh, or we can go for the uh, layup uh, with the movie ball. So let's try to go with the movie ball. Of course, in both cases, we need our ma main driver. Um, and let's go. Twenty percent extra power too. So you can see the wind is really, really bad. Uh, I would say that uh, it's too hard to reach. Of course, we can play something like a lottery shot uh, between the trees with a power hook or something like that. Mm, but that's a lottery and not very replicable. So we need we will need to uh, overpower this one probably Well, ten point one. So about ten rings. Let's see if we can be away from the rough and as long as to be away. Oh uh, no. Oh, bad shot. We need to aim more. Uh, so unlucky. We need to add some cool right.
Uh, we hit it right. That's the reason why we didn't hold it out. I think the adjustment was pretty good. So hole 7, uh, tough to make the eagle, but I would say it's a birdie hole mostly. And we need to play this one a little better. We can get the rough. Oh, same wind, same wind. So what I will uh, do for this adjustment is just one by one. One ring per one mile per hour and add one ring more, more or less ten percent extra, with about three bars of backspin and aiming to the left of the pin. So 10.4, so I will adjust for 11 rings, 0.5 more or less, 3 bars of backspin, maybe a little more because of, of the wind we have. And adjust for about 11.5. So pretty good speed and pretty good adjustment for even hitting it great uh, for the regular hole if we can make it good. So uh, the only difference is that I will play this uh, one with the Bandera ball to have less wind. I will also apply the 10% extra. I would say that's important to uh, use um, the wind resistance 5 balls on party holes. The rest can be played mostly with key maker. Let's go. So let's see the adjustment. He's playing left. I've been playing left uh, this time, this whole uh, most of the tournaments. With this wind, only about one bar of side spin to the right is needed. And probably aiming uh, with uh, the first bounce close to the fringe or even before the green. The curve left will help. But not easy with this wind. Let's see. So 7.8 is like 8, 10% extra, 8.7 I would say. Eight point six. 
Ah. Great shot. And uh, see, as as we can, uh, as we have seen in the shootouts, uh, I feel much more comfortable with about five point, uh, three point five or quad spin, probably. The ball was really, really hot. Probably also because the great shot, and we changed the aim. The aim point, we didn't get the aim point. Perfect shot. So seven birdies in a row after missing the eagle on hole number five and not being able to hold out nothing. So I will forfeit. And let's play hole number nine. I would say that hole number nine can be played probably even with the uh, a sniper. So I will play this one a sniper. What we need is to make a good driver shot to be able to use uh, the a sniper, team maker ball, and. Uh, our T shot is pretty downhill, so 20% extra power free ball. Um, I would say that's right. And let's go. Uh, let's open this pin chest. So we have a wind of 11.8, this is a big wind. And 11.5 rings. Wow, look, uh, please look how close that was uh, from the rough. Uh, the main reason is that probably we didn't adjust it properly. Uh, I feel that I was not doing the right uh, things when uh, adjusting in the right direction. Um, so we need to be very, very careful with this shot. We probably mm, can leave more room. We also probably over adjusted, but I don't know. I need to mm, I need to see a replay to watch a replay from, from that. Perfect shot.
10.4 so about 10 rings Oh, <laughs> super close, guys! Super, super close. But uh, that's how this hole is. It's really, really difficult to hold it out, especially with uh, high winds. It's even harder. It's, it's even harder when playing uh, friendlies. But making a good driver shot, we can never have a chance with these adjustments. So looking pretty good, but a little short. So uh, minus 11, not the best. Uh, but I'm, I am a little busy due to personal reasons this week. Uh, <coughs> sorry. And that's enough for me. I'll take it. If we qualify with this score, it looks like we will be qualifying. So let's play this one again, uh, just to take or to check the adjustments. So 10% extra uh, with with this wind, I will probably adjust for about four backspin. Oh, this shot is looking good. Two point thirty. Wow, twelve point three. So about uh, I would say thirteen point five. Not this way. No. So that's all uh, for the qualifying round, Monday qualifying round from my second account of Masters. Antonio is back playing Masters uh, after about five months playing expert for the streams. So I will show you the scorecard. Not a really good score, but enough to qualify and. Uh, to be able to make some practice for our main account. So minus 11 and uh, let's see the bracket. Yeah, it looks like uh, we will be in. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.